me as I take a neighborhood tour of Lone Mountain. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today, we're gonna to take a neighborhood tour of Lone Mountain. Um, I am getting off of the 215 and I'm heading west off of Cheyenne and we're gonna take a little tour through Cliff Shadows. I don't know if Cliff Shadows is technically part of the Lone Mountain neighborhood, but I thought because it's so close to the mountain that it would be cool. This is not Lone Mountain ahead of us. Lone Mountain's over there, which we will pass. Um, but I thought it would be cool to go down this little Cliff Shadows Parkway. We're going to go down all the way to Lone Mountain and then take a right and head east on Lone Mountain and show you the actual Lone Mountain. So Lone Mountain is a neighborhood in the northwest part of the valley. It is in the 89129 zip code. And the reason they named this neighborhood was from a solitary mountain in the neighborhood that they call Lone Mountain because it's all by itself, which is kind of cool. Um, it is close to Summerlin. It's just north of Summerlin. So a lot of people think it's Summerlin, but it's not. It's super close to Summerlin. And the Lone Mountain Range, the nice thing about a lot of these homes is you do have some um, some traditional homes, see right here, Lone Mountain Vistas by different builders, but then you also have a lot of custom homes in this neighborhood, which I really like the custom homes. They're pretty much off of between Lone Mountain and Fort Apache area, which we'll drive through those as well. Um, so to the left, they do have some new construction um, or they did maybe built in 2020, 2021, and 2022. There was a Lennar, and then I think it was Touchstone Living that had some new stuff on the left-hand side. Um, but, you know, as we continue to grow, I'm sure there will be newer communities coming up. However, right now, not that I know of, of any new construction in Lone Mountain. Most of it now is well-established. So the mountain itself is 560 feet above the surrounding area and has great views of the city. A lot of people like to come up here and hike the mountain. There's also the uh, Lone Mountain Park and then the Lone Mountain Regional Park that's close by. We will take a tour of those two parks. And then there's also Majestic Park, which is another park. So there's three parks in the area. Um, and if you can see it to the right is the huge Lone Mountain very nice but we're gonna look at it in detail and I can see people climbing the mountain right now a lot of people like going hiking on it they also have a trail that's 2.2 miles that's heavily trafficked with lots of people it has beautiful wildflowers it's very beautiful have you ever hiked it Joey no I've never hiked it you could have, we could have gotten off of Lone Mountain as well, but I wanted to get off of Cheyenne to Cliff Shadows. So really it's from Cheyenne to Cliff Shadows to Lone Mountain to probably Fort Apache um, are the parameters. And then to the right is the Lone Mountain Regional Park, 
we will take a tour of it after we're done taking a tour of the community. down this neighborhood way. This is where all the custom homes are. They're on like huge acre lots. A lot of them have been around for a little while so they're not like super new depending on the community but if you can see straight ahead that mountain is absolutely beautiful. I think if I were to live anywhere in the valley I would like to live up in this area because of the custom lots and it's away from everybody. Sorry, I have a little thing that keeps on clicking. We took a ride on Craig Road, so we're going all the way. Um, let's just go up here. Let's see what this does. Oh, some of these look like castles. Mm. Oh, that's the entrance to the park, which we don't want to go, but since we're here, might as well take a video of it. <laughs> Let me see. What park is this one? I think this is just the Lone Mountain Park. It's nice with the backdrop of the mountain. Equestrian area, trail, and dog park. Cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm over here at the park. Let's go this way. This looks interesting. Um, I don't know if this is the a dog park, which it looks like it could be for dogs. But then you have this beautiful picnic area, the little play structure. And amazingly, it's on Monday and, well, these look like little kids. People are out playing. It's a beautiful, I mean, absolutely gorgeous day out. Then you have the Lone Mountain right here and the backdrop. There's a walking, that walking trail that will lead up to the mountain as well. Let's see, I bet you these are dog parks. I don't know why they call it equestrian. Huh. See how nice the park is? Then they have this park over here. Well, let's go explore. Oh, they have horses. Hello. It's October. By the time you watch this video, I don't know when it will be. But October is one of the best months um, here in Vegas, besides the spring. So they do have the dog park. 
and one's for small dogs, small dogs, and they probably have one for large dogs. Let's go and explore. This area, I like the little horsey. All right, so this is the Lone Mountain Regional Park located at 9825 West Lone Mountain Road. It has a covered equestrian arena, two covered round pens, equestrian theme, hot lot, trailer parking, 10 foot wide, uh, 2.1 mile trail around Lone Mountain, walking trails, picnic pavilions and playgrounds. So this is the Lone Mountain Regional Park, it must be. Because then, looks like you have other dog parks, and it's one and three, which are for the bigger doggies. We'll just walk our way around here, look at the horsies, and then walk our way back to the other park. So this is a very large, large park. Looks like they have tennis courts here too. Beautiful. Getting my workout for today. Even though I already walked for three miles this morning. Wow. They have horses over there. Very nice. I don't know if you can see someone riding. Dang, this thing keeps on going. Some more play structures over that way. It's huge. And then the tennis courts. And these dog parks are huge as well. It's beautiful. Ooh, I'd like to be playing tennis right now. I mean, just look at that. It's not a beautiful backdrop. Gorgeous. And this is a city park, so it's open to the public. It's not just open to the people that live in this neighborhood. They have the covered picnic areas. And they have a public bathroom. I need to get a picture of this. Okay, I had to take a picture of that beautiful mountain. Do you guys hear the birds? That's how beautiful it is out. I like that they have the four different dog parks, two for small dogs and two for large dogs. It's very cool. And they have the different play structures for the kids scattered throughout. So here's a different play structure. I'm gonna stop and take a pic real quick. This is beautiful, look at that from the park to the mountains. And they have basketball courts. 
So I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure if the Lone Mountain Park and the Lone Mountain Regional Park are one and the same because the sign out there says Lone Mountain Park. Um, so I would imagine that they're both kind of like uh, melded together or they will blend into each other because I think this is the Lone Mountain Park that has the two playgrounds, the picnic areas, and then we passed the tennis courts and the basketball courts. Um, and then there was a roller hockey rink and restroom facilities. So this sounds like Lone Mountain Park. And then if you go further where I was at, which is the Lone Mountain Regional Park, which I will double check once I go driving around. And we'll find out more. Here's some neighborhoods in here. It's very nice. And then this little play area is cute as well. I just like the backdrop of the mountain. It's nice. Alrighty, so I'm gonna head to the car, continue exploring Lone Mountain neighborhood. Let me know in the comments what you think so far, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, I had to get out and take a picture of the Lone Mountain Park sign, so now we're on our way. I do believe this road is called Grand Canyon. So again, there's a lot of, some are um, gated communities in here, some are non-gated communities, and a lot of custom homes up in this road. That one's for sale. Wow, huge. Very, some modern ones, those are new. I like that. That'd be cool to have a house right there. Like this one right here are a small pocket of probably, I don't know who the builders were at the time. It'd be cool if they had rooftop decks and a patio. So we're going to take a right here on Alexander. Oh, this is Jensen Street. Oh, lots of cars parked. Look, they're all walking. It's a beautiful morning. All right, so this is Majestic Park. We're going to go inside Majestic Park. like they have some baseball fields. Let me see what this one's about. Majestic Park. Full service softball facility with 12 softball fields, two playgrounds, a picnic area, and concession stands. Yeah, that's nice. Get out and take a video of just the park. Mm. It's a beautiful softball field. So peaceful out. park area. See the mountain in the backdrop. It's 
take me out to the ball game. <laughs> Beautiful. No one's at this park today, unlike the other park we were just at. One of these days I have planned on doing a video on all the parks up here in the Northwest because I live in the Desert Shores area. I'm very close to all these parks, so I thought it'd be cool to do a video on all the parks. That's a nice park. I'm gonna stop for a minute, take a pic. Okay, got my picture on. Getting my steps in for today. Front entrance. Loud trash can people, trash people. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of the front of the sign and then I will see you guys on the flip side when I get back in the car. Peace out. Oops. So that was that park. Now we're gonna continue driving around this neighborhood um, and then end the tour. And we may actually go to the Lone Mountain Regional Park. Yeah, I got that picture of it. Cross Streets is Alexander, and what is this city park? Alexander's weird when it's up in here. Kind of curves. To the right is a gated community called Lone Mountain Heights. It's a very nice community. I used to um, do a lot of open houses in that community and sell. Um, I haven't sold there in a while, probably since last year, but that's a nice gated community over there. So the nice thing about this neighborhood is you got the Lone Mountain, neighbor, mountain that you can see, and then you also have the outskirts of the Red Rock National Conservation. Um, so you have a lot of beautiful mountain views everywhere you turn. We're gonna go back on to Cliff Shadows and to Lone Mountain and check out the Lone Mountain Regional Park. And that should conclude our tour of this awesome neighborhood in the northwest part of the valley. Again, it's in 89129, um, just off of Cheyenne or Lone Mountain Road. I prefer the northwest side of the valley because as you can see during this drive, there's hardly any traffic on the road, which has been extremely nice. There is one other park over here in Cliff Shadows. It's new. It's called the Trigano Hills Park. I'm not going to take a video of it because we've already passed it. But just FYI, in this location, that we've gone over four parks. You have the Lone Mountain Park, the Lone Mountain Regional Park, Majestic Park, and then this one called the Trigono Hills Park. So that's pretty awesome to have such be close vicinity to all these beautiful parks. Look at that. What is it? It's a wolf. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, what's that? Teen wolf kind of? <laughs> oh, yeah.
Okay, we're over here at Lone Mountain Park. Right over there is some restrooms. They have these beautiful lighted basketball courts, which is really nice. It's a nice big park. This is off of Lone Mountain and the 215. A lot of people like going to this park. And it closes at 10. Gorgeous day out. So this park has a couple of tennis courts, quite a few um, playgrounds, a jogging and walking path, a roller hockey rink, restrooms, horseshoe pits, bocce ball court. They have a lot of nice features in this park. Here's the horseshoe pits. I don't know if anyone ever really plays those though. Picnic area with barbecue pits. Here's the bocce book courts. It's a nice playground. One thing Las Vegas has is a lot of nice city parks. Look at that. With a beautiful mountain in the backdrop. I like it. Such a beautiful day out. Another picnic area. And then looks like they have a handful of tennis courts over there. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. You guys can see, right? Let's do a pan around this entire park. I think it'd be kind of cool to do a video on all the parks here in the Las Vegas Valley. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would be interested in. And there's some more picnic areas over there. Okay, well, that concludes my tour of this Lone Mountain Regional Park here in the Lone Mountain Master Plan or Lone Mountain Neighborhood. I will see you guys on the other side when we finish taking a tour of this community. Okay, that's the tour of the park. Now I'm going to go down one more street to look at the houses. Um, I feel like I didn't do enough tour of the neighborhood itself besides taking a tour of the park areas. And I want you guys to get a whole better picture of the neighborhood, not just the parks, which, you know, the parks are obviously very nice. So that's Jensen. We've been down there. 
road. And then, see what this road is. Is it Grand? Yep, Grand Canyon is the road I wanted to go down. A lot of these homes are so custom. A lot of traditional Mediterranean, European vibe, I think. Wow, look at that house right there. That's interesting, huh? This house is newer. Ooh, it has city views. Wow. That's beautiful. The only caveat of living in a house over here is not private, really. Unless you live in a gated community like that, but then that's not a custom home. Like, look at this old school house. Yeah, it's always fun to drive down either Grand Canyon or Jensen Street or Fort Apache to see all of these homes back here. It doesn't feel like you're in Las Vegas. And this is what the North or the Southwest used to look like back in the day, but the Southwest I feel has gotten too congested. So even though, yes, there's only two roads over here, it's not a very busy area. It's not a lot going on, which is why I like the Northwest side of the Valley. So this pretty much concludes the states at Lone Mountain. Wow, look at this single story, very ultra modern, very modern house. That concludes this, oh, so the states is exclusive lots at 0.75 acres. So it looks like, but see, it's open to the road. I don't know if I wanna live on a house that has the road access like this. You know what I mean? Would you? <laughs> Joey's not talking much today. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of all these neighborhood tours that I'm working on. Stay tuned. I should be posting for the next couple of months a shikes load, a buttload of neighborhood tours. Ideally, I'm starting in the northwest side of the valley, north Las Vegas, and then working my way down. Um, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.